if he's going to rotate the quarterbacks, shoot, we need to rotate the left guard. We need to rotate center. We need to rotate a lot of positions. This needs to be a game almost like a spring game where we need to play a lot of guys and we need to figure out who we going to play moving forward. Because if not, if we continue to play the same guys, do the same thing, guys, we're going to lose probably two or three games. To your point, this is a opportunity for Caden Proctor to start to mature. I've given him a pass because he's young. But, listen, he doesn't need to be put on his ass anymore. He needs to start getting whipped. This is where the, the growth needs to start happening. What if we move Booker over and create a strong side with Latham? That's or what – That's what. Flip, do it. Flip Latham the left tackle and let Proctor start on the right side and let Booker and Latham man the left side. The blind I side mean, of the quarterback. I still you think you need to put Pritchard – I still think you need to rotate Pritchard and Ferguson – Regardless, let Proctor get two series. If he ain't cutting, put Pritchard in. It's not going to hurt you. Put Ferguson in for yeah. down court. Play eight guys. Play yeah, eight play guys. Eight guys. Play eight or ten guys. I think the same goes for the D line. Jay Roberts. Yeah. Yeah. Miles McVay. Olayas. Yeah, yeah. As I say, yeah. Al- Alanine or, or McVay. Why not? Yeah, so those guys. Give them, we push. need to rotate guys. We need to find out who's the big best core. And I think what better way than South Florida? We need to be playing as many guys as possible. It's a non-conference game. We're on the road. We're coming off a, a loss. We need to find out our identity, and we need to find the group of guys that we're going to roll with moving forward. This is your your time to show it. Put up or shut up. If you don't do it versus South Florida, listen, you're going to get left behind because this SEC play, we ain't got time to trying to figure it out like we did versus Texas. And and Lane Kiffin is not going to have mercy on us. In order for the offensive line to grow, the, the quarterback has to make the plays when the plays are there. When they create opportunities, he has to take advantage. You build momentum off of those plays. Guys start to get a feel of what type of pressure, how much energy they need to exert early in downs because their guy's being consistent on what he's seeing on the field. He yep. didn't help. He didn't help the O line. The O line didn't help him. The second half, when we got pushed into obvious passing situations and plays were there where he had pressure in his face, it, it happens. It happens when you're going against highly talented defensive players like Texas is going to have. You have to be able to hang in the pocket and take a few of those hits because now you, when you do that, you make the safeties that's walking down and playing close. You're making them back off. The linebackers that's being the extra number five and number six that's that's being sick. They have to sit back and play in coverage now because now you're showing that you're going to stand in the pocket and take those, make those plays. So it's a balance that has to be created early on. <laughs>